Hi there, so here I am on my Talk to Joe page. I'm here every Thursday at 9.15. Slightly late today, in fact. So hello, and today I thought I'd talk about um, change and uh, the times when we feel a change is necessary in our lives. And what got me thinking about this is working with some of my clients this week. And people often, when they start their um, therapy, we spend quite a lot of time finding out how they're feeling about their situation at the moment and what's gone on in their lives and perhaps the reason why they've, they've come and chosen counselling at this point in their lives. And it's very easy, isn't it, to think that um, if we aren't quite happy with the way things are at the moment, that we need to make a change to our circumstances. But what, in fact, we often need to do is to make a change in ourselves. And this is really important because what we begin to do when we recognise that that is what needs to happen is we're actually recognising that we have some um, control as to how we approach our lives. And it's very easy to think that the people around us need to change or our circumstances need to change when it's us that needs to change. We need to find a new approach to whatever is going on in our lives at the moment. I think it's um, really important here to say that sometimes when I'm dealing with people who are perhaps in abusive situations, um, that sometimes it is necessary to obviously change the circumstances and to get out of a situation which is abusive. But also as well to question what is happening inside us that's allowing that situation to be ongoing. Because people treat us in the way that we allow them to treat us. And sometimes it is necessary to change our own feelings about ourselves in order to get out of, say, an abusive situation. But that, that isn't really sort of what I'm talking about today. It's more that sort of thought I often um, talk to clients perhaps who um, aren't very happy with what's going on in their lives at the moment. And they really want other people to change. And in actual fact, what needs to change is their attitude and how they're um, allowing that situation to happen, the way they're approaching that situation um, and how to, to maybe look at the situation differently. And that is a really challenging thing to do because we often feel as though we're just subject to circumstances. There's nothing we can do. And often we can't actually change our circumstances. If it's things that are um, out of our control, we can try and hold tightly onto things. We can try and change what's going on around us but often that leads, it's a road to nowhere and it leads to a dead end. And so often what we need to do is think about what's going on inside us and what we need to do in order to, to make a change. And that is quite a difficult process sometimes because it often it leads to admitting where we're going wrong and what we're doing to ourselves and the ways in which we're, in a sense, allowing this situation to happen because we want someone maybe to come along and, and rescue us out of it and change the situation for us. But often what we need to do is actually change ourselves. One of the things that I find really useful in thinking about all of this is something called the drama triangle. And um, that imagines um, that the way we relate to people is like an inverted triangle with um, the victim at the bottom of the triangle, so that's one point. And then at the other two points of the triangle are either the rescuer or the persecutor. And the victim is at the bottom and the rescuer or the persecutor is above the victim. So what happens when we sort of think that um, people are getting to us or circumstances are getting to us is we're actually making ourselves a victim in the victim triangle and we can look for um, something to rescue us and this can either be another person or it can be that we turn to particular um, rescuing behaviours so this would be maybe we turn to alcohol or we turn to um, eating too much 
or even that we turn to um, exercise in the attempt to sort of get away from everything, where we become sort of quite fixated on a particular activity. Um, we're distracting ourselves from the problem at hand and we're not actually dealing with it and that's that sort of rescuing behaviour. Or we, or we might even look to someone to come in and rescue us and help us and we turn to other people to, to take us out of our situation. Or the other thing that can happen is we see situations or people as persecutors and again we respond to them as a victim. Um, rather than sort of taking control. And one of the things that we can do is to try and move out of this victim um, drama triangle. And um, instead of seeing ourselves as victims, see ourselves as somebody who has power in our own way. We always have, whatever circumstances we're in, the, the power that we have is the power to make a choice about how we how we approach those circumstances. And so even where we haven't got any power to change our circumstances, what we can do is we've got the power to change the way we approach our circumstances and the way we choose to respond to those circumstances. And so we can choose to, to feel sorry for ourselves or we can choose to approach the situation in a different way. And this is what I mean about that the change doesn't actually have to be outside of us. The change can be from the way that we approach our circumstances. And um, it's really helpful when we're in a difficult situation is to really notice what's going on inside our bodies because our bodies are often a clue to what's going on inside us and our feelings are there to show us what's happening. And while it's not wrong to feel angry because anger is just an emotion like anything else, when it sort of becomes a burning resentment, that might be an indication to us that actually we're beginning to move into the drama triangle and we're beginning to be a bit of a victim in this situation. Um, and we can look at ourselves and we can think, well, what is it about, uh, about this situation that I don't like? And is there anything I can change in the situation or is it that I need to change, that I need to make a difference here? You know, what am I looking to achieve here? And when it's something that we've not got any control over, we can think to ourselves, OK, there's nothing I can do about the situation. So how can I change in the way that I approach the situation? What good can I, can I put into this situation? In what ways can I um, respond to it in a way that feels is aligned with my values and that can often help us to approach the situation in a different way. So we might decide that uh, we want to approach this particular situation in a way that um, expresses who we are. So we might decide that we need to um, be the most loving person that we can in this situation or the most giving person that we can. And that can help us get a measure of um, control because what we're doing is we're thinking, I can't control what's happening to me, but I can control the way I respond to it. And uh, this takes time and it takes practice. And it's a whole series of little tiny steps. What we do is we have the vision of where we want to be, the vision of where we're going. And we have to see if we can put little baby steps in day by day in order to work towards that goal. But in doing that, what we're doing is we're giving ourselves a sense of purpose and a sense of, even when circumstances are out of control, a sense that somehow we are able to have some agency in all of this. We take responsibility for ourselves and that actually gives us a sense of purpose. And as we begin to move towards the place where we want to be, either if it's in our attitude or in our circumstances, what we're doing is, um, is we're getting a sense of achievement as well. I'm just having a look at the time here to see how, how long I've been talking to and I can see there's, there's someone who's joined me. Again, I've got no comments come up, so you know if you're there, I'll, I'll comment um, afterwards to say hello. Um, so I'm going to finish there, but I, that, that's the um, thought for today is not do we, um, are we looking outside ourselves for our problems to be solved, but are, what are we doing to solve our problems and how are we contributing to the problem and what can we do to make a change? So that's really sort of in summary what I've been talking about today. 
Now I am publishing a blog and I talk in the blog in all about sort of being kind to ourselves. And if you'd like to um, go along and take a look at the blog, please do have a look. It's actually on my um, other uh, sort of business stream, which is called The Good Enough Mum. So if you go along to thegoodenoughmum.com forward slash blogs, or I think it's blog, you can have a look there and you can see um, what I'm writing about. So please feel free to have a look at that. And if you want to contact me to talk to me for counselling and to work out how you can um, make changes in your life and what you can do to make the change inside yourself, I'd be very happy to talk to you. You can call me or you can contact me via Facebook, via the Messenger app that's on the um, Talk to Joe page. So thanks very much for listening and I'll see you again next week, 9.15 on Thursdays. Bye for now.